Hi FossTube, I'm Pam. Welcome to my channel, Stitching in the Land of Good Enough. This is FossTube number 77, and today is Wednesday, November 2nd. Welcome! If you are a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. And if you're new here, um, this is a place where I talk about cross-stitch, um, I talk about my cross-stitch store, Stitch New England. I do a little bird updates about what's happening in my backyard bird feeders. I do a little life update, um, so a little bit of everything. Today, we're gonna do life update. We're gonna talk about my stitching. We're gonna talk about giveaway winners from the last video. Um, we're gonna do a little shop update and a teeny tiny little bit of bird update, something I'm super excited about. Okay, so life update. I did a thing, I cut my hair. Um, I cut my hair. For, for anybody who's been watching me a while, when I first started my videos, I was growing out a pixie. My hair was actually originally way shorter than this. Um, and so I was growing out a pixie and then um, COVID boredom got hold of me and I got my hair permed, which I loved, loved my hair permed. Um, but if you watch my last, you know, videos from the last few months, I'm mostly wearing my hair pulled back. My perm had been growing out. I had needed to decide whether I wanted another perm or not. And then like my hair was falling out, which I know happens cyclically. Um, it tends to have, like I, I tend to get some serious hair loss going every now and then. And my hair needed to be short. <laughs> so I went back to short. I do want to say this. Um, this is quite literally the worst haircut I've ever gotten. Um, and not because it's short. I love having short hair. You can't see the back. Like it is not blended well. Um, you can see like cut lines in here. If you're up close, like it's bad and not anything like what we talked about me getting on my head. <laughs> like usually I like to have a little sideburn here. I like a PC or look. Um, it's, it's pretty bad. So, and this is, and this is why we're going to just go on a little hair tangent for a sec. I think hair, I know, I think, I know hairstylists have things they're good at and things that they're not. Like some stylists are really good colorists. Some like the, my first perm was amazing. Um, so some people are really good at that. Some people are really good at long cuts or medium cuts. When I was getting my hair, when I had a pixie a few years ago, it took me, I, I, I cycled through like four stylists before I found like somebody who rocked the short haircut. And I should have just waited to get into her schedule, except I already had a, a an appointment booked for like a trim with my stylist that I had been going to down the road for me. She's not, she wasn't good at the shortcut. So I am now booked in to see my short hairstylist from before in a few weeks to try to deal with this. Anyway, I'm just gonna have to live with it until then. I'm already like, this bang is making me nuts. Okay, we're gonna put my glasses on. Making me nuts. Anyway, okay. Also, so I got that done yesterday. I also got my COVID and flu shot, like my flu shot, my COVID booster. Um, so feeling good about that. Also, super excited, Duncan. This cup is like, I don't know, when did Dunkin' Donuts stop to doing styrofoam cups? Because they like, I don't know if it's nationwide, but at least here in the Massachusetts, Rhode Island area, like they, they're not allowed to do styrofoam cups anymore. Um, I've been hoarding this styrofoam cup for years now because they're really good at keeping your frozen and your ice coffees frozen and iced for longer and I'm like a sipper all day so the longer I can keep it the better um although this one is getting super close to needing to go in the trash anyway the thing that I'm not excited I mean I am excited about the styrofoam cup but what I'm super excited about peppermint mocha is back now I know everybody's all about like pumpkin spice whatever and I do love me a pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks but my season is the peppermint mocha season. I love peppermint mocha. So my first, November 2nd, my first peppermint mocha of the season. Mm -hmm. Super excited about that. Okay, that's it for life update. There's not a whole lot going on in Pamland. 
Um, oh, I am though going to, and we'll talk about this in a little bit. I'm going to a retreat this weekend and I leave tomorrow and I'm like so excited. Okay, let's talk about stitching first though. Where the heck did I put my stitching? I'm gonna try to make this really fast. So if, I, I, if I'm talking fast, that's why, I'm sorry. Um, the shop opens in a little less than an hour. I'm like way behind schedule. Okay, so, and, and all my projects are out of order because I'm super unorganized today. I always have a project going at the shop. So I have something to stitch on for stitchy groups. And I'm currently working on Heart and Hands um, December 25th pocket round. And this is where I'm at. I'm stitching it on a piece of scrap fabric I have. It's a 32 count weak styworks. It might be gray. That's right. Look at, there's like a little Santa going there. I think last time you saw him, there was just like a beard and a head. And, but now he's got like a body and there's a December 25th happening. So that'll get worked on tonight because it's Wednesday night stitching group night at the shop. And coffee is in the way. Okay. And then I host a couple of Zooms every month and the fourth Thursday of every month is Fancy Folk. Um, what do I wanna say about that? I did have to reschedule this month. So we did it on the Friday instead of the Thursday, which was fine. And next month we're having to change it up again too because of Thanksgiving. But anyway, I am stitching a Nora Corbett's June bug. I love her. I love her because she's round and I'm kind of round and a lot of, I'm, not, I'm, I'm pretty round. Um, and most of the fancy folk are very like svelte and long and you know, I like her because she looks kind of short and round like me. I love her. Anyway, and I love her because she's super fun to stitch on. I'm stitching her on 32 count linen. And this is where she's at. Um, I started on whatever this light green color is. I don't know where it is, somewhere in here. I finished up some of this like dark color. I mo Oh, and I did a little more of the skin. So her, she's got a little bit of a neck happening now. Um, yeah, I love her. I keep thinking like she's almost done and she's nowhere near done. She's really fun to stitch on. I love the colors. Can't wait to bring her out next month. She doesn't usually get any in-between stitching. Like she only usually comes out um, for the Zoom calls. But, and I was very, I feel like we were very chatty last Friday and I didn't get as much stitching done as I would have liked. I can't get her back in the bag. That's fine. We'll do that later. Um, and then the other Zoom call I host is Hawkorn Hollow. And it's for anybody stitching any of the Hawkorn Hollow patterns. And that was at the beginning of the month. And I didn't show it to you at the beginning of the month because I didn't actually stitch on it during my Zoom. I didn't do pretty much any stitching during the Zoom. I just kind of hosted and chit-chatted. My puppy had gotten spayed um, that day and she was still a little like out of it from the anesthesia and not really happy with the cone. And I kind of just sat with her on my lap while everyone else stitched. But then, then I started getting, you know, a few videos ago, I talked about the fact that I'm a little anxious. I'd like to get the May block done this month. I should show you where I'm stitching. I'm stitching a year at Hawkorn Hollow. So I'm currently stitching on the May block. I want to get this done this year. And then I will have officially half the chart done. I'll have January, February, March, June, and I don't know, what is that, September? I will, so these are currently done. And if I get May done, like half the chart will be done. That's like pretty much almost done, right? Um, it'll only have taken me two years to get half the chart done. Technically three years. It was a new year, new start for 2020. And I say two years because at the end of this year, it'll be the end of 2022, but all of 2020 is one year and all of 2021 is two years. And so all of 2022 is three years. So it will have taken me, am I doing this right? It will have taken me three 
whole years to get half of it done. That's a lot worse than I thought. Okay, anyway, I'll show it to you. I'm stitching it on 40 count. Picture this plus, never again. Um, I can't, I don't, 36 count is kind of my favorite. I think that I'm never gonna start anything else again ever on 40 count. I say this, which means, of course, something in the future will happen on 40 count, but I will never stitch on 40 count picture this plus again. It's just too tight. My eyesight is not that good and I don't like to use, I mean, I use my readers, but that's about the extent of the magnification I like to use. So I struggle with this every time it comes out. Anyway, here, here it is. So January, February, March, June, and here is the May block. I'm plugging along on that fence. So I'm trying to, I was trying to stitch on it for a few days at the end of October. I stitched on it last night too. Um, Try to get some progress. So I have to finish that fence. There's a little house that goes in there and then there's some bees. I also have a little like stem and leaf to go in there. So I mean it's mostly done but there's only two months left of the year and if I don't actually bring it out other than the zoom calls it's not going to get done. And I am stitching it in DMC, not the MPI. And I've done some color changing. So, okay. Oh, temps. This is usually the first one I show. I am stitching. Uh, this is the third year I'm doing it. Daily temperature stitch along. Um, this is Christie's Corners Temperature Library 2. I just saw this morning on Instagram that she, her temper, temperature library three is released on her Etsy shop. I'm gonna make sure I link that below so that if you're interested in doing a library, you can get that from Christie's Corner on Etsy. And um, I am not doing a library next year. Next year, she's got a bird chart and they're like birds sitting on wires. And so that's the one I'm gonna do next year. But here is this year's so far. Getting close, getting close to the end. Da, 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 da. October is done. So there is October. So January, February, March, May, June, July. August was very hot. September was also, oh no, that's, did I skip a month? January, February, March, April. Holy moly, Pam. That's May. June, July was hot. August was hot. September, and now we're in October. Your skull is kind of scary. So no November's next, and then there's just enough space for December at the bottom. Okay, I stitch on that on Sundays. I'm actually a little ahead of schedule. I mean, I'm not ahead of schedule, but I did finish, I was actually behind. So I worked on it yesterday to catch up. And then I was like, I might as well stitch through the end of the month, even though they're after, like, you don't care. I'm, I'm getting a little rambly. I need my coffee. Okay, and then lastly, I did a little more on my November focus, no, October focus project, Sir Thomas by Glendon Place. And this was probably it for him for the year, even though I love him so much. Um, I have other things to work on. I've got to put him away. So it's being, he's being stitched on 28 count antique white linen. And that's where I'm leaving him. So I got a little more progress since you've seen him last. I got, I think I had said last time I had this whole ear of corn in and realized it was in the wrong place. It was too far over this way. So I had to take it out. And that's, that's where we're left. Look at my dangling thread and needle. So I'm feeling really good about where I'm leaving him for now. 
We will see you next year, Thomas. And that was my stitching. I feel like I did not get a ton of stitching in. I um, I, I mentioned that I had gotten the COVID and flu shot and then I uh, had in on, I, they always kind of kick my butt when I get a vaccine. And so I was kind of out of commission on Monday. So that was no stitching. I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm not. Sorry, there's like somebody outside my store, like on the sidewalk talking. It's distracting. I'm easily distractible. Okay. Stitching. What did I talk about? Uh, I've got notes. All right. Let's get into giveaway winners. So last video was my 4,000 subscriber giveaway. I was giving away four things. Three of the winners are going to get picked today. Um, the fourth giveaway is a spot at my Stitch New England retreat in October of next year. You can find all the details for that on the website. Um, I'll have that linked in the description box below. Um, and that is not getting picked until Tuesday, November 22nd. I did have a question um, from someone about it and I thought maybe other people had the same question, so I'll answer it. In-person registration and floss club registration for the retreat starts in one week on Tuesday, November 9th, but the giveaway winner is not getting picked until November 22nd. And I, and I, so I had somebody reach out to me that was like, what if I, I don't want to miss out on registering in person before the 22nd, but what if I win the spot? Well, obviously if you have paid for your spot and then you win the giveaway, you'll, you're, you'll get your money refunded. Um, so, but I figured if somebody ha had a question about that, maybe other people had a question about that. So that's the answer. Um, wow. If you are interested in winning that giveaway, there's nothing you can do about it on this video. <laughs> you have to go back to floss tube number 76 and somewhere around like minute 34-ish, I talk about the giveaways. So entry for that giveaway is over on floss tube number 76. The information is there. You do have to watch it all the way to the end because I'm a little bit of a ding dong, but somewhere around minute 34-ish is where you find the information. You don't have to watch the whole 45 minutes to, I won't torture you um, with that sometimes a little bit of torture. Okay. But anyway, the other three giveaways I have picked winners for. Okay. So giveaway number one was Heart and Hands We Santa 2022 with a skein of the C. Shelley. You need to stitch his coat. And the winner for that was Loretta Makers. Majors. I'm bad with last names. I apologize, Loretta but I already have your email, the, uh, not your email. Well, I think I have that too, but I already have your address because you filled out the Happy Mail contact form. Thank you so much. And that will go out in the mail. I think I'm gonna do shipping today. So that'll go out in the mail today. Um, yay, Loretta! Second giveaway was Fairy Wool in the Wood, The Search of the Perfect Pumpkin with the fabric to stitch it on. And the winner for that was Bonnie Mitchell. Yay, Bonnie Mitchell. So again, Bonnie, I have your address. That'll go out in the mail today. And then lastly was Little Robin. Oh my God, my hair is going to make me nuts. I'm going to have to clip it back. Little Robin designs um, a sampler of St. Ives with the MPI. And the winner for that was Joanna Langberg. Yay, Joanna. Um, and Joanna, I think you mentioned that you are going to be at the retreat that I'm going to be at tomorrow. So I'll just bring it with me instead of shipping it. I hope that's okay. Unless you're really excited about getting some happy mail. Well, <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, okay. So I think that's all I need to say about giveaway winners. So congratulations 
to the three giveaway winners that were chosen today. And don't forget to check out Floss Tube number 76 for the information about winning a spot at the 2023 Stitch New England Retreat in October of next year. So remember, Floss Tube number 76. Um, okay, that brings us to shop update. A few things I need to talk about with the shop. Most importantly, I am going to be at the Stitch In at the Farm Retreat this weekend, which means I am working a half a day on Thursday. So the store will be open this Thursday from 10 to 1. At 1 o'clock, I'm closing the doors. I'm hitting the highway. I'm gone. And then it will be closed Friday and Saturday. The online store will still be open, but shipping will not happen until I return on the Tuesday. I mean, I'll be home before the Tuesday, but I won't be back in the store to do shipping until Tuesday of next week. Um, also, there we are having an ornament finishing class. So if you would like to learn how to make like, you know, the hard finished ornaments with a little DMC corded trim, information about that is on the event section of the website. It is Saturday, November 12th. What else do I want to talk about? Whoa, ripping my pages off. Oh, last video. I had this whole spiel. This is kind of a funny. A last spiel about how on the website, you can choose to have your items shipped or you can choose to do in-store pickup and that for whatever reason, my website was defaulted to in-store pickup, which was becoming a little bit of a problem. And I didn't know how to fix it. I, and so my husband is watching the video and he is like, there's no way that this is not something you can just do on the back end. Less than five minutes, he had it fixed. I mean, I, I've said this once, I'll probably say it a thousand more times. I should not be allowed to have anything to do with technology. Less than five minutes, he's like, I ha there was a thing you could pick to default it to shipping. So on the website, everything is defaulted back to shipping. So if you want in-store pickup, you have to click the in-store pickup button. I don't know, so, uh, like Ding Dong Central. <sighs> we are officially one week away from in-person registration. I'm so excited for the retreat. If this is the first time you are hearing about the retreat, again, all the information is on the website. Oh, I am also excited to announce that we are gonna be doing an Atomic Ranch Fabrics um, Fabric Club for 2023. So signups for that are happening now. Um, the link for that is on the website. I'll probably put the link down below as well um, in the description box. Registration for that is going to close at the end of November. Um, you'll get your first invoice in mid-December and then shipping will happen. The first shipping will happen um, in the latter half of January. Oh, I'm really, I'm really like choppy today. It's the hair. It's throwing me off. Okay, new things, new things in the store. I have like 50 million new things in the store and they're all sitting in boxes that I have to unpack today and put in the system. So I will show them to you next week. But I do have a few things to show you. Um, I have Plum Street's new releases have landed in the shop. Love this, autumn because I love a white house. I hate stitching with white, but I love the look of white houses. I don't know what it is. Anyway, this is Autumn Cottage by Plum Street Samplers. I love the colors. I love the swirly smoke coming out of the chimney. Oh my, I love these little pops of blue. I, I love this chart. I love that white house. Okay. Secondly, this is Grace Doth, again, a white house. Grace Doth Abound by Plum Street. I really like this one too. Again, White House. There's a pumpkin in front of the door. It says, toil o'er the ground, yet grace doth abound. It does have like a tree with the whole Adam and Eve and serpent situation, which I'm not super into. 
but I, that one I kind of like. Usually Adam and Eve are kind of, they're kind of weird looking and I don't like them. But actually I kind of like these guys. Okay, anyway, so that's in the shop. And then this one I really love. Okay, birds, I love birds. This is Cardinal Kin and Cardinal Kin 2. So she's got it in two different colorways, a darker, more Victorian color, and then a little brighter. I think what I love so much about this one is it's cardinals, right? But usually when you see cardinals in winter scenes, it's always the male cardinal. Like it'll be a bunch of males because they're red and they're pretty. But I love that we've got a fella and his lady and their little baby. I love it. Okay. And then lastly, I have the 2023 book of days in the shop. Um, I'm going to totally do this next year. So I'm sourcing out some stickers. I'm going to do like stickers in there and track my stitching. It's probably going to last six weeks and then I will fizzle because that's the story of my planning life. But I'm, I, her, it's making me crazy. Anyway, if you've not seen the book of days before, it's a calendar. So like here's March, get like a place for notes calendar. I'm going to sticker the heck out of it and then every day write in what I've stitched on. In the back, there's a place to do a little charting, to do notes, planning for next year. Oop, I'm showing some chart. Planning for next year, um, little extra like vintage charts and oh, just a couple. Um, I think what I'm going to use this for is to write down my I'm not doing focus projects next year. I will not be writing down focus projects for next year. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to try to figure out if I can keep my whip list in here. I don't know if there's quite space for that, but I could kind of tape it in. All right, anyway. So the Book of Days is in the shop, Plum Street, Hopefully by the end of the day, everything else will be in the shop. Okay, where are we at? 30 minutes, I'm doing good. Quick bird update. My other passion besides cross stitching is my backyard birds. The little birds that come and eat from my feeder and I love them. Um, I'm always so interested like in the changing of the seasons, the, oh, here comes the heat. I'm gonna talk real fast because that heat's gonna pop on any second. Um, the Junkos are back. So all my summer birds have left like a month ago. And I've been waiting to see if I get my winter birds back and the Junkos are here. I love Junkos. They're like little finch sized birds, like bigger than a chickadee, like tip mouse size, you know? And they're like a charcoal gray and, they, and they're light underneath and they, and they like to hop around on the ground and they're adorable and I love the noises they make. And they're back, they're in my yard. I heard them first. I heard them for a few days and I'm like, I swear the Junkos are here, but I couldn't see them. And then, and then I saw them. I think it was Sunday. So I was ecstatic. Um, all right. I think that's it. All right. I will see you all next Tuesday. I will have all sorts of things to share about the retreat I was at. Um, so excited. I'm so excited. And what else? So excited for in-person registration to start next week for the retreat. And I think that's it. So in the meantime, until next time, I guess, I hope that you are all healthy and happy and safe. And I think that's it. Get a lot of stitching in. Bye everyone. <laughs>